10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Our 30th Electron has taken to the skies, having successfully lifted off the pad at Launch Complex 1. You can see the distinctive shape of the Mahia Peninsula below as the vehicle is on its way to space, carrying our 300th Rutherford engine and 150th satellite. The next critical stage in Electron's flight is Max-Q, maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is when the vehicle's velocity and local air density are at their maximum and the vehicle experiences the most mechanical stress. We'll hear that call from Mission Control when Electron clears that stage of flight. Clear Max Q. Electron has successfully passed through Max Q and at an altitude of just over 15 kilometers is well on its way to pass the Kármán line and enter orbit. The nine sea level Rutherford engines on the first stage are operating nominally and we are approaching the next series of events in the mission. The first step after Max Q is MECO or main engine cutoff when those first nine engines throttle down before shutting off completely. This slows the vehicle marginally before the first stage separates from the vehicle. Once this is complete, the second stage space optimized Rutherford engine ignites to take the payload and kick stage the rest of the way into orbit. These three events happen in quick succession, so keep an eye out and listen in for the call from Mission Control. Nico in roughly 30 seconds. Oh, is it Jettons? Fifteen seconds to Miko. Miko confirmed. Stage separation successful. Stage separation confirmed. Done, done, and done. With that, we've confirmed MECO, stage separation, and ignition of the space-optimized Rutherford engine on the second stage. At this point, as Electron has cleared most of Earth's atmosphere, it can also jettison the payload fairing, as it is no longer needed to protect the payload. You can see it there on your screens. Electron's fairing has now been ejected with the two pieces falling away. Electron's second stage is continuing nominally on its way to...